Jay, uh, obviously you're familiar with this rivalry, and, uh, and I guess you had resigned yourself that you were never going to be part of it, and now here you are part of it. Kind of, how, how does that feel like? Uh, it's definitely weird, you know. Like you said, I grew up in Mobile, so I definitely thought I've always known how big of a game this is. And uh, once I went to Illinois, I just kind of you know, thought that I'd never be a part of it. And now here I am, uh, about to be, you know, my first Iron Bowl. So it's definitely exciting, and uh, it's a big accomplishment for me. As a kid growing up, I'm, I mean, you talk about like kind of much you dreamed about this. Yeah, well. As soon as I hit high school, you know, that's whenever it really started, kind of took off for me. That's whenever, you know, um, guys on the team start talking about Alabama versus Auburn. And, um, you know, when the game comes along, everybody, you know, gets together and watches it, and it's just a big deal. And so, you know, that's it's kind of, I guess, it's kind of just a dream for, you know, all those guys to be a part of that part of that game. And, um, you know, it was definitely my dream. So now, you know, it finally came true. Talk about Alabama's defense, kind of what you see out of those guys, especially at one step. Uh, they're definitely you know, a great, great group of guys. They're, um, you know, they're big and they're fast. Obviously, we're going to have to um, play, you know, play our best, and uh, I think that I think that we definitely can do that. Um, but we're just, you know, they're they're a great group of guys. How many guys do you know at Alabama? Uh, now I don't know as many. Um, I knew, you know, Preston Dahl and Brandon Gibson. Uh, I played with those guys when they were in UMS. Um, Russ Reigns, he's a guy I grew up with. And uh, there's a few more guys I, I played against in high school that I don't know very well. I know their names, but I don't know them personally. So I definitely know some of the guys over there. Jay, how big a, how big a difference do you think from Pam's perspective of four, four and 18 defeats Alabama, knocked Alabama in the national championship for three and 10 for the league? How big a difference is in your perception? How big of a difference is it going to be for our season? Just the perception of the season. Um, I mean, I think going in this game, um, yeah, the record. I don't think we're going to look. You know, the record doesn't matter. Um, we're going to go into this game. You know, not looking, not looking at what we've accomplished this season or what hasn't happened. But uh, you know, this is just. Like every other game, this is a new, a new fresh start for us, you know. And we're just gonna, you know, play it, play it to the best of our ability. And um, you know, we want to win this game. And I think if we did win this game, or if we do, it's gonna definitely put a, you know, a bright spot in our season that we, that would be great. But um, you know, that's what we're hoping to do, basically. Trey's 80 yards away from the Pals. That's a guy that, that is part of that running game. How much would it mean? for you to see him get the, get the thousand yards. Oh, it would mean a lot to me. You know, uh, I take uh, I take a lot of pride in uh, the people who run behind me and their accomplishments, and uh, I think that uh, it would it would be an accomplishment for me, too, if he did get to a thousand yards. So hopefully we'll get that. What has it been like trying to get him in Ontario and yourself going in the running game against SEC opponents? Uh, I think it's really been it's the same for anybody. You know, I don't, we don't... It doesn't matter if it's SEC or any other conference. You know, we're all we're gonna play everybody the same. So, has it been a gritty run trying to you know, get those yardage, and just pull out on the ball against SEC teams? Uh, yeah, I mean it's definitely harder against SEC, SEC teams just because of the you know uh, the type of guys that they have. But um, I think that a lot of it has to do with us too and how we play and uh, our you know our whole offense as a whole. So. Um, you know, we really just got to get everybody going and to get those yards. Your playing times obviously fluctuated some throughout the season, as, as is normal. Alabama's defense, big, physical. Is this a game that you really need to play consistently, regularly, for your offense to have success against that defense? Uh, I mean, you know, really, that's up to the coaches to decide. But um, obviously, I want to play as much as I can. You know, I want to be involved in the game and uh, do what I can. So, who in Alabama defense really stands out to you as, well, as a person? Uh, you know, really, I don't, I don't see um, anybody that in particular that is out more outstanding than any of the other players. I think as a whole, they're um, you know pretty, pretty solid together. But um, as far as an individual, I can't really point out one individual. Thank you. Yep. Appreciate you. Thanks, Jay. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.